What is up everybody? Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video. We started the week with a surprise event from Plarium. Get one legendary, get one free from Ancient Shards. I actually opened 20 Ancients, got a fat leap and I'm out of here. Let me know in the comments down below if you managed to pull anything juicy, anything tasty or you got a couple of chickens and you vaulted them directly. In today's video guys, we're gonna talk about the top 10 best damage dealers for the Hydra clan boss, regardless if they are AoE nukers, single target nukers, enemy max HP hitters, or they have some super mega giga skill like Geomancer or Ninja or Tranda. Huh? So I'm going to explain you why these champions are so good for your team. And I'm going to show you at the end some screenshots with damage from pretty much every single one of them, except a couple of them that I that are missing. And uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what you could expect if you're using those champions in a these specific teams that I'm going to show you. First, let's have a quick look at something. So if we go at the Hydra clan boss right here, I just want to give you a quick heads up. We have the second rotation ending in one week and exactly 19 hours, okay? The next rotation that comes out is pure cancer, okay? It's going to be such a hard rotation. It's going to be so annoying. You're not going to have the head of mischief. You're not going to have the head of uh, torment in there. So that means the two squishy heads are out more aoe damage reduction comes into play the head of torment is not in there so that means you're not gonna need a shamael or perfect veil or anything to deal with fear at least for the very start of the rotation it's gonna be pretty annoying to have the cleanser and to have the head that lands the toxic cloud and the reason for it is that they're going at same speeds okay they're gonna be on the same speed so the cleanser is gonna come in play insta cleans and the other one is gonna drop them toxic cloud as soon after the next one so i think like it's gonna be pretty hard to to make sure we're gonna block that we're gonna have to to see what's gonna happen i'm gonna prepare you for it in the very first week when that rotation drops out now when we're talking about damage dealers guys okay affinities change but the damage dealers they don't really change that much we're gonna rotate some of them here and there if, if we have some other damage dealers available but we're going to be able to deal good damage even if we're going to get some weak hits here and there. If you go at the Nightmare difficulty, for example, you're going to see enemy max HP hitters, Geomancers are kind of running the show here, okay? We have a Royal Huntsman, we have um, some Shalds, we have a Yannikas. Pretty decent champions to help out with some damage. On Brutal, pretty much kind of like the same situation. But if you're going to hard, to normal, you see more... Mashal is coming into play. Inquisitor Shamael is a pretty good damage dealer too. You have some other champions that are kind of making like an appearance in here. And uh, Trandas. Tranda, she is so damn unique for that A2. We're going to get to that in a second as well. But let's start to talk about the champions, guys. Some of them, they're going to be from the index because I don't have them built. Some of them, they're going to be from my actual uh, champion pool with builds, masteries and all that. I'm not going to rank them the best champion right here, guys. Even though it's pretty obvious the top three damage dealers, which ones they are, you know. Usually, I don't tend to do that, even though it's a bit easier to do that on the Hydra. But if we're going to go at the Index, I'm going to start quickly with uh, Royal Huntsman, okay. I want to explain you a quick thing about this bad boy. So, basically, champions that ignore defense, they can be pretty use useful, you know. So... We have this skill, attacks one enemy, will ignore defense by 100%. The only problem is, is on a 5 turn cooldown. The good thing about Royal Huntsman is that he has AoE defense down on this skill right here, on a 3 turn cooldown fully booked, and on the A1 he can place attack up on himself. That means that he can actually deal some solid damage, you know? So, Royal Huntsman is a pretty good candidate for one of the best damage dealers for the Hydra clan boss. Of course, they are... Plenty different champions that can uh, be amazing. I'm going to give them kind of like a big shout out towards the end of the video as well. Because we're talking about the best top 10. Some of them, they might they might be equal in terms of damage. But how I haven't tried every single one of them, guys. It's going to be pretty hard to, to say, okay, these are kind of like equal all, all in terms of damage. From here, we have Royal Guard. But we're going to get to that one in the actual index. If we're going to have a look at the demon spawns, we have a pretty solid champion here. And that is Cecia Flametongue. Now, 
I have her build, but she's built for the spider. So I don't want to show you that build because it's just rubbish. She's on a stun set and literally the stats are all rubbish because I don't afford to have her on a, a damage build or anything like that. But on the A3, lands HP burn for three turns AOE, okay? Then grants an extra turn if that lands on every single target. She detonates the HP burn, which actually brings up pretty good damage out of it. Weaken and defense down, okay? And on the A1, a triple hitter and increases the duration of HP burn. That makes her pretty, pretty badass. Now, she doesn't have the best HP overall, but she can deal tons and tons of damage, guys. So, if you have her, you're struggling with the damage, be confident. She is gonna rock your Hydra clan boss. Now, if we're gonna go straight to my champion uh, pool right here, the ones that I have built, we're actually gonna talk about no one else but this bad boy. Herndig, okay? He is a pretty awesome champion. He actually brings so much to the table. Deals pretty good damage. So right here, attacks one enemy and fully depletes the Termiter. That's not going to work on the Hydra. But will also attack all enemies if the first attack is critical. So he lands Weaken and he lands HP Burn, okay? On some of the champions that have the Termiter below 30%. So that makes him pretty, pretty solid. On the A2, we have Defense Down, Decrease Accuracy. And on the A1, he deals pretty good damage. He gains a bit of Termiter when he gets hit. So overall, he's going to be an awesome champion to deal damage. But mainly for the lower difficulties, you know. I feel like for, for Nightmare Brutal, there are not as many options as I would like it to be. Comparing it with a normal clan boss, you know. I feel like, yeah, we're lacking a lot of damage dealers for that. In order to be able to be like, okay... We have a hundred different teams that we can use on the Hydra. Unfortunately, Plarium kind of locked this content behind some specific champions, you know. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, to kind of do what we want. If we're going to go all the way down here to, where is she? Tranda. So, Tranda, she is just amazing on a normal, on hard. Even on brutal, she can deal pretty good damage. So, correct me if I'm wrong right here, but... From what I understood, when the heads are decapitated, basically they have no defense or something like that. So that's why this skill is so efficient. This deals more damage on targets that they have less defense. So this is very unique. It's no other champion in the game that can do what she does. But man, she can she can deal like 30 million damage, bang, on one hit if the heads are all decapitated. It's just crazy. Attacks one enemy. Then attacks all other enemies with a second hit, dealing 60% of the damage inflicted from the first hit. Of course, this can be pretty good to deal damage. Double hitter, she is a powerful champion. Now, I used her on my Hydra Clan boss. I'm using her on every single reset. And these are the masteries that I have on her. So, offense, defense 3. She has the arena build. I'm not changing masteries on her or anything like that. So, with confidence, Helm Smasher tier 6. If you have one, use her like that. She's just gonna destroy. Honestly, half her in Savage, she's gonna destroy the Hydra clan boss. If we're gonna have a look at a different champion that is actually pretty, pretty badass, is no one else but Mashald. So, you wanna have accuracy on this champion. This is the build for my Fire Knight team, so I don't really have accuracy on him. But, increase speed, increase crit damage. He deals so much damage with the A3. And the A1, guys, the Leech, not only that he's going to help to sustain your entire team, but this one right here is going to become AoE, and he actually ramps up tons and tons of damage if you're um, putting it in the longer run. He's not going to deal 1 million damage with the first hit or anything like that, but he's going to add up a lot of damage. So, uh, Mashal is actually a very, very solid champion. Septimus, another enemy max HP hitter. Now, in my opinion, Septimus, Coldheart, and Shamael are pretty much going to deal the same damage. This is on a 4 turn cooldown. Same with Coldheart, she has it on a 4 turn cooldown. And they do 10% damage on a, on a target. Shamael, for example, he has this skill right here on a 3 turn cooldown. And if you have 3 to 4 buffs, he fully ignores defense. And he can definitely hit for 6-700k just with this skill every 3 turns, okay? So that makes him pretty, pretty badass. And not 
not only that but he brings you different utility to the table so these champions can do around six seven eight nine million damage in a run depending on what sort of build you have on them you know you're gonna run the other ones either uh, on a savage a relentless a reflex and you can run him pretty much the same i chose to run him on regeneration just to keep him alive to don't have any sort of issues to constantly need to revive him on the nightmare difficulty you know but total stats on him that's kind of like what i have i focus to give him survivability if i would give him more crit damage i will be getting even more damage out of him you know masteries i actually have war master just because i don't want to kill the head of torment so fast you know i want to keep the head alive as long as possible so i actually have war master on him you you can go with giant slayer from what i understood it procs from his counter from the, the passive but these are the masteries i have on him moving down to some other champions so we have geomancer okay he is definitely i think my opinion even though i said i'm not gonna do it seems like i can't help it i think he's the best damage dealer for the hydra clan boss just because no matter what what head you have out there you're gonna be able to debuff him okay and uh i find it i find that the team runs smoother with him now on the next rotation i might change my my opinion and i'll put royal guard the best bang but so far i feel like i'm betting my money on him in terms of damage i've definitely seen the bigger num the bigger numbers out of him so i have him built on a regeneration for this current rotation because i have shamael he's constantly getting termiter so he's always getting a turn i don't really have to stress about oh i can't keep the hp burn on all the heads at all time you know but on the next rotation i feel like relentless or a reflex is gonna be the way to go if you want to have a chance at keeping the hp burn on the heads constantly because you're gonna have the cleanser head in there as well which is gonna cleanse on a fourth and cooldown if i'm not mistaken so it's gonna be pretty pretty damn hard to make it happen you know husk another badass champion now how I specify the next rotation will bring in a lot of AoE damage reduction. Savage will be the most efficient uh, set if you want to hit the maximum damage. If no Relentless Reflex is going to do an awesome job. That's the build that I have on him. The more refresh accessories you have, the better. If we're going to go at total stats, this is kind of like what I have on him. 60k, uh, 68k HP, 2.2k defense, 234 speed, full crit rate, 240 crit damage. I like him more than Royal Guard because it's easier to tank him up. Now, on the next rotation, his affinity is kind of going to be a bit of a oof. So he's not going to be as useful as a Royal Guard. But there's nothing, nothing wrong about it. How I specified, you can go and do it. A few weak hits here and there. They're not going to cost you everything. But these are the Masteries, Tier 6, 4 Master. Definitely the thing you want to get on him. Moving over to royal guard i actually have quite a few different builds i have a i have a savage build i have reflex build so i use him on reflex as well but i'm not using the a2 uh, the a3 on him at all when i'm running uh, the reflex set literally just the takedown and the a1 because i want that takedown to have the cooldown decreased as often as possible again refresh accessories important and i don't have this one built with accuracy you have defense down on the a1 decrease speed if you don't have a crease or a champion that decreases the speed on them definitely make use of it it's not gonna be as efficient but it's still gonna help you a bit so definitely considering giving some accuracy if you need decreased speed and i have this build relentless okay refresh accessories probably i'm gonna keep him like this for the next rotation guys and these are kind of like the stats that i have on him rip my 99 crit rate man i wish that plarium will bring in one percent crit rate glyphs i don't want more than that just one percent this one percent is messing up so many builds for everyone it's so annoying but these are kind of like the stats that i have on him again not with accuracy and masteries very similar with the uh, husk tier 6 war master now you can go on defense 3 if you like but i don't run deterrence on them and i feel like having cycle of magic can help my uh, my champions a bit more if we missed a few other champions and yes we did this bad boy right here seems like i missed him and that is ninja okay 
he is a very unique champion too. Unfortunately, if you weren't playing when Platinum had an event, you're not going to be able to get him again. So they name him the Boss Slayer. The Hellburn skill is melting bosses. 100% a very unique skill. Hopefully they will be bringing some more champions in the future that uh, will be able to do what he does. But overall, he's going to deal tons of damage. Defense down on the A1. A pretty good hit right here. And this passive is very unique. Increases attack and crit damage uh, per round. It can go up to 100% increase attack and 25% increase crit damage. But he needs to kind of uh, do some damage before. So you need to play him for a bit in order for this passive to come in play. But definitely tons and tons of damage. A very awesome champion though. I, I gotta say I wasn't expecting him to be as, uh, as amazing for, um, for the Hydra clan boss, you know. Other champions that kind of deserve a shout out, guys. Now, I specified I haven't tried every single one of them, okay. But there are some pretty good other champions that can... Uh, deal damage there. I'm pretty sure Leorius will, did, will uh, deal good damage. Venus, I tried her. She deals pretty good damage. She doesn't hit hard, but she brings defense down, weaken, HP burn. So she's definitely a key champion overall for it. Turfold on the lower difficulties, pretty, pretty decent. Ethos, again, he can deal some decent, decent damage. If we're going to talk about other champions like Yannicka, again, she can be pretty good. I'm sure that even Abyss can deal some damage i haven't personally tried her but i'm pretty confident that she can do it you know so i have i have no doubts with her either probably the same with the uh, fushan he's a pretty good champion roxam my deal pretty good damage so there are quite a few champions that can uh, put out some work little miss Annie is one champion that i'm kind of thinking about her since she can ignore some defense and i just generally know that she hits pretty damn hard of course it might be champions like Iron Brago if you're kind of taking a different path with your with your teams there. Uh, Cupid is decent. I wouldn't really put him in the very high top of the best damage dealer. Sinesha, Skull Crown, pretty good. I like Sinesha because she brings in different utility to the table. Magnar, a pretty solid AoE damage dealer. I actually like Magnar for the lower difficulties. He, he hits pretty good. Definitely not a bad champion. Good survivability on him. Phoenix, he can hit pretty hard with the A1. I kind of had higher expectations from him, more utility, but I'm not really feeling it as much. But that's kind of what it was in terms of uh, champions that deal damage. Now, let's have a quick look at what sort of damage we can expect from them. So, if we're going to go right here, guys, you see, this was my key on Nightmare. Now, some of the things might be affected in the next way. So, basically, let's just say Hus gets devoured three more times compared to Geomancer. So that cuts quite a bit of damage out of him, you know? So it's a bit harder to say this is the number one damage dealer. But we have Geomancer, 22.9 million damage on this team. Husk with 17.8. Shamael with a weak build at 5 million damage. So he wasn't really built for damage. Krisk, AoE attacks, 3 million damage. Lydia, 4 million damage. So Shamael... He deals a pretty good damage considering he's not built for it, you know. On this one right here, what do we have? Double Husk. We have 18 million damage. 20.4 million damage. So, it's a bit different. On this one, Royal Guards. 17.9, 22 million damage, you see. So, it's, it's not as easy to say that's the one that does it. Because it's very important how many times each champion gets devoured. And it's pretty hard to keep a count on, on all that, you know. But... You see, Royal Guards are very solid too. If we're going to have a look at some different ones, let's see. Geomancer here, 17.5. We have a, a Mashal with 4.3. Inquisitor Shamel with 3.9. So if this Mashal would, would have had a better build, he would have dealt more damage, you know. But it's a bit harder to build him with the right accuracy and all this for the higher difficulties. Geomancer here with 16.5, Shamel with 4.7, Husk with 11. What else do we have here? So this is 7 million from Geomancer, 6.1 from Venus, so definitely putting out the work. Geomancer here with 30 million damage, which is just crazy. So in this team, if you don't have, for example, Sifi, she is uh, serving a very, very good, uh, good role. 
definitely an awesome awesome champion right here to to replace her and what do we have here Tranda 30 million damage which is just crazy man in this in this for a uh, this comp for her she is absolutely crazy hopefully i haven't missed any of them if i did guys do let me know in the comments down below i am curious to know what other damage dealers are you guys using for the hydra clan boss i am curious to try out some different ones but that was all for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully it helped out to decide what champion to use in your team but that was all for this video much love and i'll catch you all soon in the next one peace